Hey, this is Jimmy. Jimmy, this is I, Liam. Oh, hey, hi, Mr. Neeson. How are you? Liam Neeson. Yes, I know. I know, Liam. Or as I am sometimes known, the Green Avenger. Okay, listen, do people really call you that? The criminals do. <laughs> so what's up, Mr. Neeson? Jimmy, as you know, your show used to air here in New York. Yes, I know. On WBAI. The Bari! Yes, yes. It was on Sunday nights at 2 a.m., right between the gluten-free insurrection... Okay, okay. ...and the Inuit... Po <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> the Inuit powwow with your host, Julie Seal Clubber. <laughs> yes, Liam, I, I recall that, yes. But now I can't find the show. It's terrible. Yeah, we're a little confused about that, too. <laughs> It's like I'm trapped in a maze of confusion and odors, Jimmy. We're looking into it, Liam. We are looking into it, buddy. Well, I feel better now. If anyone can fix this injustice, it is you, Seamus. Okay. <laughs> you know you can always download the show as a podcast if you miss it on the radio. Yes, yes. I suppose I could. <laughs> Capital. I shall do that immediately with my computing device. Problem solved. Okay, so Liam, what are you calling about anyway? Well, Jimmy, I don't know if you know this or not, but I am Irish. I did know that, Liam. From a wee town in Northern Ireland called Ballymena. Okay, all right. Where Ma and Pa raised me into an acting juggernaut. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Oh, Jimmy, it's a magical place full of castles and leprechauns and former terrorists. <laughs> it sounds really nice, Liam. And I'm now promoting terrorism to Northern Ireland. Everyone should go there at their earliest convenience. As I said before, we have castles. Also, we have majestic factories. On the coast, you can see seals cavorting. And of course, now we have food. <laughs> that sounds great, you have food. One of the best values around in tourism. You can get an Airbnb in Belfast for a mere six potatoes a night. Um, what? I'm sorry, what? We also have nightlife. For instance, you can spend the evening wagering on the bare-knuckle boxing and then enjoy a lovely dinner at our new Olive Garden. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lovely place, it is. Liam! We made you suddenly... I believe it started in Times Square, New York City. <laughs> yes. What made you suddenly decide to start promoting tourism to Northern Ireland? Oh, Jimmy, the recession hit the North very hard, mm. very hard. Mm -hmm. It's been difficult times. Seamus has gone back to the drink. Little Patty's rickets have returned, something fierce. And, of course, Shannon had that miscarriage last month. Um, who, who are these people? Which reminds me, if you need a new kidney, Northern Ireland should be the first place on your to-do list. Get off the plane and head right for our glamorous transplant district. Then why not try out that new kidney in one of our traditional pubs? <laughs> Say, fella, is that Guinness on tap? Better make mine a pint. And don't forget, Wednesdays are always ladies' night. Okay, Liam, there is no way Northern Ireland is as stereotypical as you're making it out to be. There's no way. Well, of course, Jimmy. I mean, for instance, we now have black people and also several Jews. <laughs> and then, of course, we also have the Internet. That's it? Jimmy, we have the most... Jimmy, we have most of the amenities of the modern age while keeping the pristine emerald poverty tourists have come to expect. <laughs> Won't your friends be jealous? When you show them the selfies you took with honest-to-God street orphans. <laughs> okay. Well, Liam, I, unfortunately, I got to go. Well, Jimmy, I don't mind telling you this has been an utter delight. Mm. Talking about my favorite tourist destination with my favorite Irish-American fella. Well, thanks a lot, Liam. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking time, buddy. No, Jimmy. Thank you. Thank you. Excelsior. <laughs> and... 
I apologize for calling you Seamus early in her sketch when I did not know that the name Seamus will be used later in the sketch. <laughs> it's all right, Liam. You're, you're the best. Good talk to you. Okay. Take care. <laughs>